here to learn more about Lewisburg history and to reflect and remember those who have fought so hard for all of us to enjoy the freedoms that we do today. My name is Corey Hines. I'm the assistant director here at the Public Library for Union County, and I'm here with my programming assistant, Rachel Waugh, in charge of adult and teen programming. And we are very honored to be here with Nancy Newman, who is our tour guide for the day. November 11th, everything went quiet at 11 o'clock, at 11 minutes after 11. Now, I don't know if that's done anymore um, because back then it was called Armistice Day and that's actually what we're honoring today, the day that um, the Allied troops um, formed an armistice with Germany after Marking the end of World War I. More people visit this grave than any other place in Lewisburg Cemetery because it's the baseball hero, Christopher Matty Matthewson. And I mean, baseball fans from all over the world actually come here looking for him. And when they're one, people are wandering around in a daze, I know they're trying to find him. <laughs> so, um, he entered World War I in the Chemical Corps and uh, was a captain. And he was exposed to chemical gas at the time. And eventually it caught up with him. Uh, he ended up with tuberculosis. And he also went to that same sanitarium in Saranac Lake that Kath Catherine uh, Baker was in. And, uh, so he died at a pretty young age. Right here, he's killed in, in the Argonne. Um, he, he's, his body was returned in 1921, and there is a, also a grave marker there for him. Um, killed in action, September 26, 1918 with his buddies who are, we just visited Kratzer and Dahl. And um, he was with the Mexican Border Service, which some, some of these other guys uh, started out that way too.